Hey guys, I'm gonna talk about buying, potentially buying this store. Uh, we actually visited the store with the girlfriend, just kind of by mistake almost, because uh, we had some time to kill in the Tokyo buffet, or whatever buffet we were eating at. It was a tuna and salmon sashimi buffet, and it was very, very good. The tuna was probably some of the, you know, some of the best tuna I've had in a while. And we had time to kill because the, I mean, we just had time to kill. And we decided to go to the Willowbrook Mall, check out some of the game stores. And this was one game store we went to. Now, the time that we went to it, I don't think it was on sale or it was for sale. Uh, you can see the gross revenue is $750,000. EBITDA, which they won't tell you. The uh, inventory is $95,000, $8,000 per month rent, which is really, really high in that area. And the lease expires until 2025. So when you do buy the store, you also inherit the lease. It has five employees. Uh, it's basically, I mean, Willowbrook Mall, right? Um, and it's uh, a really interesting place. The mall is not located in that much of a high-end place. Uh, I would say Willowbrook Mall does get decent traffic, but it's not uh, very high-end customers, right? So Humble's right there. That's where I live. And it might be worth me buying too. Like I am uh, definitely in, at $225,000. It's way too much money. Uh, I don't even think with the liability, remember when you take it over, you're taking over a year and a half plus of lease as well at $8,000. $8,000 uh, for lease is very high. Um, it's $96,000 off the top. And again, I don't think the revenue is that high. And then when you t calculate five employees in, you know, I, maybe at best, you can see that there's a lot of empty space. That's why we went there. We're kind of shocked how much, you know, empty space there was in this location where they don't have the merchandise. They only have $95,000 of inventory retail. That's definitely a retail price. And I don't know how that makes any sense because even if they sell through their retail, they would have to sell their inventory almost every month to hit the $775,000 gross revenue figure, which again, I don't think that's true for the location. So we did study it. I did, they sell DVDs, old video games, figures. I mean, it's basically your local shop. Uh, the reason that I'm so interested in this particular shop is the space. It's huge. It's a massive store um, front. It's 3,500 square feet. 3,500 square feet. And if you wanted to have Magic the Gathering tournaments, if you wanted to have Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, if you wanted to have all this stuff, I mean, it would be uh, amazing. So the sales floor is 300, 3,000 square feet. And the other 500 square feet is storage, a break area, restroom, and a repair area. Um, it was opened a year ago, and it's on a permanent lease. Uh, it has another location uh, inside the Woodlands Mall, which is much better location in my opinion. Uh, that one is not for sale yet, but that one may come up to sale. It looks like the owner is trying to get out. But I thought this would be a great location, actually, because of the square footage. Um, 225,000, they're basically just, you know, if, if their FFE is 95,000 and their inventory is 95,000, there's about 200 right there. Um, they're basically saying, Hey, take the store, take the inventory, take everything. And we're going to just get out of the business, which is probably not a good indicator. Again, the gross revenue, I gotta imagine it's, it cannot be that high, right? Um, I, I just cannot. But the space is very interesting. Like you could have gameplay at the space since it's in the mall, it's in a safer location, right? Uh, you could have game space. Um, I think it's kind of near the Apple. Uh, we were actually checking out the Apple uh, and the Lego store. The Lego store has absolutely no Legos in it. But it's an interesting thing. It's definitely a um, store that not for 200,000 probably doesn't make sense for me to buy but if I can get the inventory on discount and the fixtures and I get to keep the five employees and just kind of I actually saw the employees I talked to them 
there were two of them at any given time. I believe there's two of them at any given time. Um, and they had like redesigned it recently. Um, I think uh, their main thing is they fix video games. I, I definitely want to be into that. Maybe they're employees. Uh, I will give them a call on Monday to learn more about them. But yeah, it would be nice to get a store again. Uh, I do have a little bit extra money coming in. Um, right now, I, I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's maybe you don't even buy the store. You just buy the store for the storefront and then you redesign the whole thing. The storefront is very massive. And I don't know if you can sell this stuff at profits. That makes sense. I When I was there with my girlfriend, no one was there. It was totally empty and it was at a... Um, you know, it was a. Pr it should have been a pretty busy time. I think it was like a Saturday night or something. Uh, maybe they closed early. Yeah, I think it was like a Saturday. Yeah, it couldn't have been Sunday. We don't go out to eat on Sundays. Uh, it was probably a Saturday night, Saturday or Friday night, and so they're open until Sunday, six p.m., eight p.m. Yeah, it would probably not be a. Um, yeah, it probably wouldn't be great for gaming because gaming is at 8 p.m. and after. But it might be good for, like, Pokemon. You know, not Magic the Gathering gaming, but, like, early gaming. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, yeah, I think the mall hours does kind of hurt it. Now I'm looking at it. So maybe it's just got to sell stuff. You got to sell Pokemon cards. They obviously sell a lot of Funkos. Sell a lot of video games. I wouldn't mind being a part owner in this and splitting. So I don't think 200000 is what they would take. I think, honestly, they probably take one hundred and fifty, maybe less. And it would be good to go in with a partner who probably lives there closer. And um, not included. So not included in the asking price. So yeah, there's no way this uh, store... So I've been to the store. There's no way that they're selling that much Funko figures and plush totally dead when i was there but interesting model it's an interesting model the mall they also this the, this mall has like eight anime stores in it i'm not joking that's why we went to the mall is to look at the anime store they had like one really k-pop store that we have in the darebrook mall which uh i have a very interesting relationship with to say the least um maybe i i grab a store i don't know I don't know. It's uh, retail is kind of dead, but you know, live streaming and stuff. Maybe you just grab the store and you live stream it, like Jeff Wilson does. I don't know. It's interesting. I mean, interesting. The price is interesting to me. I think, and I don't even want the inventory. Honestly, I have much better inventory in my storage than this. But the location is certainly attractive, given just the massive storefront. 